Just another mom rant. Let me get a drink. Okay. So we're getting ready for school this morning. As you guys know, Coda's been out because he had that surgery. He's been out in recovery. I'm getting the girls ready. I'm waking them up and stuff. And they're like, do we got school today? I said, yeah. And this is like as I'm carrying them to the living room. Do we got school today? Yeah. Why? I'm not going. I quit. I'm not going. And I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? But I know what's wrong with them. They're tired. They're tired. They go to school all day long, every day, 8 to 3. I made a video before this, and I messed up, so I'm having to redo it because I said 8 to 4. But anyway, back in my day, I don't know where y'all are from, where you came from, but back in my day, when we went to high, uh, when we went to preschool and kindergarten, we went half of a day. And preschool was more like a learning um, daycare more than like a school. It was like a learning daycare. It was like optional, you know. And kindergarten was like 8 to 11 and then uh, 12 to 3. Something like that. You know, you had the morning class and then you had the afternoon class. Now they expect them to go all day long. And not only that, they've took away kindergarten's nap time. So needless to say, when my kindergartner gets home, she is, she, uh, she is just wore out. I, I was about to cuss, but I'm trying not to do that. But it just makes me so mad when my baby comes home and she wants a snack and she sits down to watch a little bit of a cartoon or something and she falls asleep around seven o'clock and then she doesn't wake back up until the morning time. Misses her bath, misses dinner, misses everything. Because she is so exhausted. Did I wake her up? No, I didn't wake her up because I knew she was tired. You know, I'd rather have her rested and in a good mood today than to, you know, take a shower yesterday evening just because, you know, yeah, you were dirty. But you can wake up and take a shower the next morning. I'm not going to make your tired butt get up and take a shower just to make me feel better. You know, you're tired. You're exhausted. You need rest. Anyways, though. My first grader, she's really anxious all the time. And um, backstory, she was she was born premature. They said that they thought she had a developmental delay. Thought that she might um, reach milestones not as fast as other kids her age. Anyway, she got held back in kindergarten because of COVID, because she didn't have any one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers, and. Uh, she didn't know everything she needed to know. Anyway, uh, she gets to first grade this year, and her teacher's like, why didn't they hold her back? I said, they already held her back. Well, uh, she can't read, and I said, I know she can't read, you know. I said, why don't y'all give her an IEP or something like that where she can have at least 30 minutes a day one-on-one -on -one with a teacher and learn more things, you know, and then she would understand more, you know. Heck, she understands more with me at home when I do it one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and I understand her teacher can't do that. It's not her job, but the school can, and I shouldn't have to wait until the end of November just to get that appointment just so that she can get an IEP and have extra help, you know. That's stupid, but we're doing it because they're expecting them to already know how to read when they come into first grade. I didn't know how to read until I was at the end of first grade going into second grade, you know? And uh, it's just, it's insane. The anxiety that the little girl feels every day, like watching my, watching my first grade daughter burst into tears because she's scared. This is what she said to me. Mama, I'm scared. And I said, why are you scared? She said, because I don't know answers and was crying while she said it. You know, that's pathetic. It's pathetic. That that baby should be scared about going to school because she's scared that she's not going to know the answers. And it's not for me because I've told her repeatedly, do your best, forget the rest. As long as you're doing your best, I'm not going to say a word to you because I know that you're working hard. And I see her work hard every day. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't still get to her. It doesn't mean that it still doesn't knock on her self-esteem. And for that, pisses me off. I cannot believe that she is in in first grade and she has this much of a workload like she has this much of a load on top of her pressing down and making it to where she's anxious all the time and almost in tears over going to school it's it's insane <sighs> anyway that was my rant for today y'all have a good day